Fishick, welcome back to the Oval Office. Good to have you back. And, uh, and I want to thank you again for the reception I had last when I was last in Ireland. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, when my family wasn't sure we wanted to come home. It was so nice. Look, uh, it's great to see you again. Great chance to uh, return some of the hospitality that uh, you provided me when I was in Ireland last. And I know there are all kinds of Irish, old Irish sayings, but my grandfather Finney used to say, may the hinge of our friendship never go rusty. He had all these sayings, you know, the Irish in America sometimes think they're more Irish than the Irish. But, uh, and I don't think we're going to let it go rusty. We're vital each other's economies, we're good friends, and, we're, and uh, today celebrates uh, 100 years. That's right. 100 years. Uh, diplomatic relations uh, between Ireland and America. And as far as that friendship goes, it keeps increasing, not diminishing. And I'd argue stronger than ever. Together, we're deep in our economic partnership. There are 300,000, we help create 300,000 jobs across both our nations. And uh, we're working together to increase humanitarian assistance in Gaza. And we both know that a whole lot more has to be done. And uh, we're standing together to support Ukraine in the face of Putin's onslaught, um, the savagery with which he's attacking the Ukrainians. And I want to thank you, Leo, for Ireland's unwavering assistance to Ukraine, including millions of vital humanitarian aid that you provide, millions of dollars. And I'm urging our Congress to do its part, get back in the game if we were able to find another $300 million, but uh, we, uh, we, we have a $6 billion package, a $60 billion package, and we really work it. So we're up on the Hill, I'll ask you to lobby them for me. That's a joke, okay. That's a joke. But uh, I'm urging them to, the Congress to pass the bipartisan legislation now. It includes a significant amount of humanitarian aid, uh, including to uh, Ukraine and Gaza. And uh, as I said in Belfast last year, we remain committed to protecting the peace and progress of Northern Ireland since the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. And uh, like you, I'm glad to see Northern Ireland as executive and assembly are up and running. And I think that's, from my perspective, a very positive step forward. So, Leo, thank you again for being here. And uh, as we begin the next century of our partnership and friendship, I've never been more optimistic because, uh, you know, united by history, heritage, and hope, I think there's not a damn thing we can't do together. So, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.